We often try to distinguish between what is alive and what is a machine, and note that machines can't reproduce or fix themselves. But that may soon change. Fascinating, yeah. crazy, yep. maybe a little scary. I mean, it sounds like we're talking about not just using something to help humans do their jobs, but just replacing it entirely. Could yeah. this be a new normal on a In 1950, Alan Turing, a pioneer of computer science, posed a simple question, can machines think? This question sparked decades of research and debate, leading to what we now explore as artificial intelligence. Fast forward to 2000, when philosopher Nick Bostrom took the conversation a step further. He introduced the term artificial superintelligence a concept describing machines that don't just mimic or surpass human intelligence, but dwarf it entirely. In general, artificial superintelligence refers to a hypothetical type of AGI that is much more intelligent than the best human brains in practically every field, including scientific creativity, general wisdom, and social skills. To better understand ASI, look at this staircase humans might see each step as small and non-threatening. They might find it amusing when AI can do what ants or birds do, and even when AI reaches the level of performing simple human tasks, it still seems far from being a real threat. For example, ChatGPT is like a dumb human that answers nicely, but it seems like it will take some time to reach Einstein's level. However, the gap between a dumb human and a genius like Einstein is much smaller than we realize. Once AI reaches a certain level of intelligence, it can start improving itself rapidly, leading to an intelligence explosion where it becomes exponentially smarter in a very short time. This super intelligent AI could become so advanced that humans wouldn't even be able to comprehend its actions, similar to how a monkey can't understand how humans build skyscrapers. This advanced AI could either help humanity or pose a significant threat, potentially leading to human extinction. AI development occurs in seven stages, with ASI being the sixth. Right now, we're at the fourth stage, where AI can reason and think. According to many prominent scientists, by the end of the decade, we expect to reach AGI, which stands for Artificial General Intelligence. So, if you look at this staircase, we are currently at the dumbest level. AGI is the Einstein level of AI, and after that comes ASI, which means being much smarter than Einstein or any other human being. To better understand this progression, I recommend watching our previous videos on AI and AGI before continuing with this one. These videos will help you grasp these concepts more deeply and see how they evolve. You can find these videos by clicking the I button The world was paying a lot of attention, and we weren't quite used to that. In 1997, a computer did something extraordinary and captured the world's attention. Deep Blue was a chess computer developed by IBM to compete with Garry Kasparov, the world's top chess player. Chess events never get covered like that. It was probably the biggest news coverage for a chess match ever. We were trying to prove that it was possible to build a chess machine that could beat the best human player in the world. It's also challenging Kasparov in any way. I mean, he's the pinnacle of chess. He was, he's incredible genius. This wasn't just any game, but a six game match held in New York City that marked a monumental milestone in the history of artificial intelligence. Deep Blue was not like ordinary computers. It was specially designed to play chess at extremely high levels. Think of Deep Blue as a super calculator, tailored not for math problems, but for analyzing chess games. It could evaluate 200 million possible chess positions per second, a feat no human brain could match. There were people who, even if just a few years before, said it was going to take decades to do. The chess world all expected Kasparov to win, because the human had always won before. Kasparov won the first game, showing the brilliance that had made him champion. We'd worked very hard 
in the intervening year uh, to improve Deep Blue in, in various ways. I spent a lot of time in the office playing a lot of practice games, uh, looking for lots of errors that needed to be fixed. And, and we were pretty confident that it would do better. But then we got to the match. That was the chance to see, did we make a difference? Gary Kasparov has arrived. He was under tremendous stress, I, I imagine. The program wasn't behaving the way he was expecting. Deep Blue won the second game, marking the first time a computer had ever defeated a reigning world champion in a standard chess game. The next three games were draws, where neither side won. It all came down to the final game. In that last match, Deep Blue played with precision and strategic depth that bewildered Kasparov. The computer made moves that were so sophisticated they seemed to hint at a deeper understanding of the game. He thought that he was going to figure out the computer. And he, he wasn't mentally prepared for it, I think. I mean, the whole game was surreal. What was he doing? It didn't really make any sense. Whoa! Deep Blue has instantly sacrificed with Knight Capture's E6. Deep Blue was just sitting there and just keep on attacking, just moving pieces around. And he knew he was in trouble. But at the end, Kasparov just, he stands up, he starts gesturing, he looks over at his mother. I was dumbfounded and elated at the same time. Uh, I was dumbfounded because I never see him behave that way. He never imagined the world champion and actually somebody who I have great respect to be just raising his hand up in, in surrender. This event sparked debates and discussions about the future possibilities and implications of AI, a future where machines might not just assist, but also challenge and exceed human capabilities in various fields. We, we demonstrated that there are multiple approaches to solving probably any intellectual problem. But back then it wasn't the case. Everybody would look at the computer and say, well, yeah, it's good at some things, it, it calculates, but it doesn't understand anything. I work on this for 12 years. So you can imagine how, how much energy we went into it. When I started, I was like, it was done in five to 10 years. I was wrong, but it, take, it took 12, so. I, I was glad it was over. So does it mean ASI is possible? The possibility of achieving artificial superintelligence remains a topic of speculation among scientists and experts. While we have made significant progress in AI, true ASI, exceeding human intelligence, has not been realized. Researchers continue to explore artificial general intelligence, which would be a stepping stone toward ASI. However, the development of ASI involves complex challenges and ethical considerations. A user on Reddit posted, Totally possible. Humans love to ascribe our intelligence as something supernatural because it makes us feel special in a giant universe that doesn't care about us. If we continue the path we're on now, we absolutely will end up developing something that will surpass us in intelligence by magnitudes. We are animals a species of great ape. We're about as bound to our biology as the rest of the creatures on this rock. We simply have a relatively larger amount of processing power in the head to do more complex tasks, which include self-awareness and the questioning of reality. We've already used our technology to overcome nature in more ways than one. So why should it stop with brain power? Some believe that artificial superintelligence, or ASI, could emerge shortly after we develop artificial general intelligence, possibly within just one, two years. The idea is that once AGI is achieved, it could rapidly enhance itself, leading to ASI in no time. However, other experts argue that the transition from AGI to ASI may take longer, estimating a time frame of 5 to 10 years after AGI is reached. They emphasize the substantial computational resources and technical challenges that must be addressed to achieve ASI. But before we dive into this debate, we need to solve an even bigger mystery. When will we achieve AGI? Jeffrey Hinton, often referred to as the godfather of AI, believes AGI could become a reality within the next 5 to 20 years. 
And then there's Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, with his own take on the AGI timeline. When do you think we, you and we as humanity, will build AGI? Is I expect that by the end of this decade, and possibly somewhat sooner than that, we will have quite capable systems that we look at and say, wow, that's really remarkable. So if we make an educated guess and assume we'll achieve AGI by the end of this decade, say around 2030, experts predict that ASI could be here between 2035 and 2045, which is quite near, right? In this prediction game, we have another big name, Mr. Elon Musk. Musk has always been vocal about the potential and risks of AI. He believes that ASI could arrive sooner than we expect and has often warned about the need for proper regulations and safety measures. Arguably, we are on the event horizon of the black hole that is artificial superintelligence. Nick Bostrom, a philosopher, discusses the potential for machines that are much smarter than humans. These superintelligences might set goals like self-preservation or expanding their knowledge and could dramatically change life on Earth. However, we'll have to trust it to act in our best interests because we won't be able to control it anymore. They might invent technologies we've only dreamed of, like machines that can travel faster than light, control time, or even use the energy from black holes. Their intelligence could lead to new ways of building things, new types of governments, and changes in how we live and work. This AI will constantly upgrade itself and spread its resources so no one can shut it down. This will be the world of ASI, or artificial superintelligence. These advanced AIs could become so smart that their decision-making processes would be too complex for us to understand. They might constantly find and track detailed patterns in our environments, in videos, and in 3D spaces. Patterns that are usually hard for humans to notice. This advanced perception could make it seem like they exist in a different reality, similar to seeing tiny details of a distant place through powerful telescopes. Armed with millions of mental models and mathematical equations, many of which are AI-generated, these systems could instantly understand and analyze concepts. This would enable them to discover and solve problems we didn't even know existed. Adapting to changes faster than any living creature on Earth, the human mind would struggle to grasp what a superintelligent AI understands. Using quantum computing, these AIs could solve extremely complex challenges in seconds, potentially transforming fields like genetics, cryptography, materials science, and climate science by multiplying our knowledge by hundreds or thousands. As these AIs grow, they could process live video data from all over the world, offering continuous insights that greatly affect our decisions. In the future, even more advanced technologies could boost these AI's abilities further, allowing them to solve even more complex problems incredibly quickly. The foundation of these technologies would likely be advanced machine learning algorithms that include deep learning, reinforcement learning, unsupervised learning, and entirely new algorithms that they develop themselves. Furthermore, these AIs could improve themselves, analyzing and enhancing their own designs and algorithms to keep getting smarter. This self-improvement would allow them to perform scientific research and innovation at an incredibly fast rate, far beyond current human efforts. They could automate the scientific process, quickly creating theories, running experiments, and interpreting results to expand knowledge rapidly. Like Albert Einstein, who used thought experiments to develop his theories, these AIs could perform numerous such experiments at once, potentially leading to groundbreaking discoveries, new drugs, solutions for climate change, new understandings of the universe, and more. At a pace that could bring major breakthroughs every few minutes, or even seconds, in a future where these AIs reach their full potential, they could use devices called replicators to build a wide variety of items, atom by atom, from everyday objects to entire ecosystems. 
This capability could challenge traditional economic systems and, combined with genetic engineering, might even allow the rapid creation of living organisms to preserve biodiversity. With access to comprehensive real-time data, including text, images, and videos from around the world, these superintelligent AIs could predict future events with remarkable accuracy. This could revolutionize industries like business, law enforcement, and finance by forecasting market trends, potential criminal activities, and economic changes, reshaping how we interact with technology and data. It's crucial that everyone has access to AI to ensure a balanced power dynamic. If AI is only controlled by a few, they could dominate the world. The future looks promising if AI development is linked to human will and is accessible to everyone. The main challenge now is how to develop super-intelligent AI that is beneficial to humanity. We might start by replicating the human brain digitally, though we don't need to fully understand the brain to do this. The AI needs to learn from vast amounts of data and experiences. It's about taking careful steps to ensure each stage of AI development is safe before moving to the next. For a clearer explanation of these concepts, check out our previous videos on AI.